Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. In today's lesson, we look at how to resolve this problem here. You usually get this message when you link into Revit an AutoCAD file and it usually says do you want to import from the paper space because nothing was found in the model space. A second version of this message will say that do you want to import from the model space because nothing was found in the paper space. Let's see why this is happening and how we can resolve this. By the way, if you are new to this channel, subscribe now to get tutorials like this coming to you every single day. Alright, let me try to dismiss this message first and see which file was causing this. Let's try to bring in this file here, sheet number one. Well, firstly, you get this message and that's a bit irrelevant for now. But if I close it, I'll see the same message from before. Now, usually, this is because your AutoCAD file is of an incompatible version to your Revit file version. As you can see here, I'm using Revit 2016. Let's see what version the CAD file is in. Let's go to AutoCAD and open Sheet1.dwg. You can see now I'm using here AutoCAD 2018, and that's the problem. When Revit 2016 was released, it had no idea what AutoCAD version will come in the future. So if you bring into Revit 16, AutoCAD versions 2017, 2018, and so on, Revit won't be able to understand. So the fix to this is simply to save this file down to an older version. How about AutoCAD 2013? That's three years before 2016. That should work. I'll save it now. Return to my Revit and try to link it in again. Sheet 1, as before, open this, and still the same message. This doesn't mean the save down didn't help. It did, because if you remember from before, we had another message before this one, something about incompatible element types. That message has gone now, and that's because now the file version in AutoCAD, Revit can now understand it here. However, this is now pointing to a second problem with this file. Revit is still saying there's nothing it can find under the model space of the file. Let's go back into AutoCAD and see if that's the case. So I'm here in the paper space or in AutoCAD's term layout view. If I go back to the model space now and try to zoom to fit, you can see there's nothing here. And that's the problem. If you go into Revit, you have here two types of view. Views up there under the views group and your sheets. If you link into Revit an AutoCAD file and your active view is up here under the views group, Revit will try to pull elements from the model space of the DWG. In contrast, if you try to link into Revit an AutoCAD file while your active view is a sheet view under here in this group, Revit will instead try to pull elements from the paper space of the AutoCAD file. So here, because I'm in a model view, there's nothing under the model space in this CAD file for Revit to import, hence the error. To solve this, I need to cancel out from this command, go to a sheet view. Let's check a new one quickly because we haven't got any. Here we go, that's a sheet view there. If I now try to link it to here, the same DWG, it works because Revit has successfully matched each sheet view to the layout view in AutoCAD. Let's try another one if I now do another linking, but this time of this Detail 5 DWG file. Now you see, we have the same message complaining about incompatible element types, and that means you need to also save down this file. But then you have a second message, similar to the one before, but now it's saying Revit couldn't find any element in the AutoCAD file's paper space. Remember, we're now in the sheet view. That's why Revit is trying to read the paper space of the DWG. If you want to bring in AutoCAD elements from the model space, you need to change your active view first. From a sheet view to a model view up here. How about back to level one view? And before trying again, I need to open that file in AutoCAD just to save it down. So detail five. Here we go, you see here, there are a lot of elements in the model space, but nothing under the layout tab. That's why Revit was complaining. Let's fix it for good. I can now do a save as. 
and save it down to version 2013 again. That should resolve the first error. For the second error, it won't come up anymore because now we'll be linking this cat file into a model view of Revit. Let's confirm that now. Linking detail number five into here. And there you have it. Now it's working. All right, so if you get that message about the model space, paper space incompatibility, the first step is to make sure your AutoCAD file is of the same version as your Revit version or earlier. And secondly, if you are linking the CAD file into a model view up here, make sure it has elements in the model space. If you're linking it instead to a sheet view, make sure it has elements in the paper space. If you like more tutorials like this every single day, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.